And always a reminder for myself and Abdul Aji Sadaifu, Miskeen and Zalim and Jahad. <coughs> but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence, alhamdulillah, that Allah granted us this path of, path of ishq and muhabbat into the depth of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad. And alhamdulillah, granted people to have a tremendous sincerity to get the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad with their khidmat, their service and their showing of this Divinely love. And this is a, a great honour and a great gift to get oneself to be motivated is difficult enough but to motivate hundreds of people in this way of love and this ishq is uh, only from Allah Means if Allah is pleased with the mission then only Allah can send the fires, the light and Divine grace to the heart of Prophet and from the heart of Prophet essential command that that grace begins to emanate out to people to hear it. And once they hear it, it dress their heart and they feel it. And once they feel it, they listen to that. They listen to that guidance, they yearn to achieve that guidance and they go out marching in the way of Allah And it is the greatest jihad, the greatest fight is the fight against oneself. <clears throat> The fighting of, of others and for bounty or for goods, it, it has its own reality. But the one whom fights against himself for Divine grace, fights against himself or herself for the love and ishq of Allah the nazar and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad in days in which we describe they become like a holding your faith like a fire of coal because it's not popular that one's faith is something that shaitan is asking people to compromise. That, oh, you can be like. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Like this, you can look like that and everything is about compromising to make other people happy, other people comfortable. But Prophet gave to us our coordinates that no holding your deen will be like a fire. So if it's not feeling like fire then we have to increase the activity. It wasn't supposed to be easy and comfortable, it was supposed to be a continuous struggle. A struggle to get what's needed to be done, a struggle to go out and, and do what is necessary for my protection because all of these actions bring about Divine love and the nazar of Prophet and it brings about a dress upon me, my family and all those whom I'm responsible for. That is the protection and this is what we've described in many, many talks and you can go back now mashaAllah to the AI, it's like having a shaykh just sitting there. Ask whatever smallest question you want to the greatest question you want and it gives you the understanding and a very eloquent response so that when we think that 
we are protecting ourselves and that we are protecting our loved ones through difficulties, calamities, testings, imtihan, whatever people want to call these situations because every day is a test. They want these things to be taken, these medicines to be taken, this type of food to be eaten, this type of this and this type of that. Whatever people are seeing upon the news it's a battle against families. And if in our teaching is that if I think my actions will save me then I have a lot of pride and arrogance in my actions. That we think very highly of ourselves. that, oh yeah no, no my what I'm doing is this good, it's solid, it's so strong, it will help me, it'll help my family and all my loved ones. But the tariqah comes and teaches uh, the beginning of this gate and the beginning of this door and this path was negation. That as soon as I'm going to embark and truly enter onto this path and Muharram step with my right foot, enter to Surah Tawbah which know Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, meaning that I'm entering now this path in which to sacrifice myself Ya Rabbi. And I know, Laila Anta Subhanika inna kuntum min ad-dalameen, that glory be to you, you're, you're the great one and abdukul ajeezu da'ifa wa miskeen wa zalim wa jahal. And I have nothing for myself to protect myself nor my family nor my loved ones. And that's the, the door and the step we enter to. So then what protects us shaykh and what protects us from Allah's anger, what protects us from the wiling desires of shaitans from attaching themselves to us? And that was the khidmat and that was the life of service. So we say again hoping that my, my nafs will understand because I have to talk to myself if other people are interested in listening, alhamdulillah. So I take all the things I am supposed to do that Allah asked me to do and I really don't put any importance on it. My, my salah is not going to conquer the earth. And it's not most likely going to save my children from calamities. And what my shaykhs taught me was your khidmat would. Because khidmat service brings rahmah, brings the nazar of the heavens, brings the gaze, the emanations. You gain attention from the heavens. The heavens now is looking at the servants whom serve because they serve the kingdom. We're trying to be employed by the kingdom. Not only the boss at, at, at work and school and then people will say, Shaykh but they pay us so of course I have to serve them. Say, yes you serve them but who really pays you? Allah Allah puts into that company, give him a raise. Allah puts into that company, fire him. A decree comes, the person's heart and they're gone. This is the tawheed and the oneness of faith, nothing escapes the order of Allah Allah's my boss, not that man writing the check, he's merely a servant of the same Creator. Whether he acknowledges him or not, Allah ha holds his heart with his two fingers, means with his qudra and his might holds the heart of every servant. So my life was to serve with every aspect of whatever Allah gave to me. With my time is service, with my aqal, with my mind, my God-given ability was to serve. With the wealth Allah has given to me was to serve. What else is there that Allah has given to us, all of it is on the table to serve and then we live a life of service and it's such an easy understanding. And the one whom serves the kingdom not only serves themselves because once you've served Allah no problem, serve your family, serve your loved ones, everything. But once you've lived a life of serving the kingdom 
you're a servant of the kingdom and this is the greatest honour. And as a result everyone in that kingdom looks to you. You gain the nazar of Prophet big or small it doesn't matter depending upon the people's abilities. I don't have to feed the entire city to gain their, their recognition, their acknowledgement, their nazar. I, I, I do what I can do. Nice to put graphics right behind me, <laughs> they're testing the green screen. We do what we can do and then the shaykh inspires you too that once you're sincere and you're actually trying, why don't you go out and encourage other people to join you? I only have such an ability to do so much by myself. If this was about only doing it by myself I, we would be very limited. But leaders will be born and as a result of their leadership they do, they do, they do, they sincerely do and they begin to encourage others to, come with us, let's do it. Get other people to come and support and to do it. Means wherever people are, everybody has the ability to inspire, to post that uh, we're going to be doing a feeding at this location in Florida, Los Angeles, Chicago, Kenya, and, uh, Nigeria now, India, wherever it is. And then why don't you come and join us? Why don't you come and participate? Why don't you come and help? So that you can understand how difficult it is to get people and inspire people to do good. Once you live that life then you understand that, mashaAllah, that now how the shaykhs bring hundreds of people to actually do good when all the odds are against them because everyone has a shaitan that says, no I don't want to do anything. Go try to talk to one person and inspire them to do good and now I don't know maybe I'll see you later. So once we do good for ourselves, we live a life of doing good, have good character, following the examples, the, khis, the khidmat, the service brings the, the Divinely grace and the gaze of the, of the purified and holy ones and then we rise above and inspire other people to come with us for a feeding, come with us to go give food, go to local businesses and say, would you like to donate so that we can give more food, so that we can do more projects. And it's not about everyone saying yes to you but it's how many times are you willing to take a no until somebody says yes. And this is, a, this is in our entire life, it's not how many times you won. It was how many times you got up after being knocked down because we said Allah likes the fight, the victory is with Allah Go out and fight against your devils, oh this humiliating, exactly. They're not all saying yes they weren't supposed to. Allah will give the one whom He wants in His heart to say yes to you. So this is a, an understanding that sometimes you don't think people really understand. They'll email, oh that no, nobody was interested. I said, why? You thought you'd go and the first round Allah was going to open everybody's heart to listen to you like is a message from the Divinely Presence? You thought too highly of yourself. But the path is a path of humility. And every day you know in, in the old times the shaykh would tell the students, you have to put this bag of raggedy clothes and you take this cup and you shake the cup and go down into the town and ask people to support. Not that everybody was going to support you but that it was humiliating and they didn't care if you were ulama or you were wealthy or whatever your provision was. The shaykhs want to develop a sense of live a life of service and if it is humbling for you it's pleasing to Allah So Mawlana Shaykh many times described that they would go and ask for nuts even, forget about money. 
They would ask for donation, whatever people could give because this was a life of service and a life to humble ourselves. And there's nothing wrong with being humble, it purifies the heart. And when the heart becomes purified there are people that their heart and sincerity is pure and when they go out Allah opens the hearts of people to give to them in droves. But that didn't come overnight where you can watch and say, oh how the shaykh is able to do that. But that came by a life of testing and humiliation. So this life of service and if you ask the AI most of its answers will include that don't forget service in your formula. It's like not being able to bake anything without flour. Forget about all the other ingredients you put in but the main ingredients of success in reaching the Divinely Presence is a life of service. Whether I serve with my skills, my computer skills, my intellect, my ability to write, my ability to communicate, my ability to program, whatever it is that we have and whatever it is that Allah has given to us, this life was a life of service. As a result of serving then this oceans of blessings begin to dress the servant. And as a, as a result of now walking in the steps of the shaykh, you begin to understand the shaykh didn't just arrive there and sat at that place because he just drove there and got there. The 35 years of serving people, 35 years of, of humiliation, 35 years of asking and asking people's support and everybody saying no and no and no. And then one day you look back and there are hundreds of people serving, hundreds of people donating and living a life of service of their time and now mashaAllah look at the fruits. They're out collecting hundreds of thousands of pounds of food everywhere, making videos daily coming out, images and graphics daily coming out, our own production team putting videos. Why? Because you, you live and walk the path and as a result one day Allah inspires the hearts of other people that follow them and follow Him and do as He asks you to do and do as He did and He does. And when you live a life of service you know that the nazar of Allah upon you, you know the, the, the fireworks in the background, the nazar of Prophet is upon you. So this is all our life was meant to be, it's for the nazar. If Allah gives you difficulty in life don't just accept the difficulty. If something's not operating correctly, the energy is not correct, that the difficulties are happening within the home, live a life of service. Don't be a reactive, you know, what are we going to do, what are we going to do is be proactive. You have to do a lot more, you have to be actively involved, you have to do your salawats, you have to do your practices, you have to give your contributions, everything. It's, it's not just, you know, wait till disaster comes and and the devils are overtaking the home and do whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Everything in our life is about a struggle. If Allah opens for a situation means He's looking for a struggle that, how come you're not struggling? How come you're not trying to fight through this difficulty and resolve these issues that come into our lives? And that that's important for us that something it must be deficient in my practice and my understandings for how is this negativity coming in? We pray that Allah give us an understanding and inspire within our hearts and that to, to take the path for all of its realities and to reach towards its realities inshaAllah. SubhanAllah Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifu Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa Hurmati Muhammad Al Mustafa Wa Siri Surat Al Fatiha As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh this is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, 
Our water well give the gift of life. Our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.